Welcome to Palio's Chalkboard Thursday. If you're wondering, yes, that is a horse. We are shooting in Saratoga Springs, New York, home of the oldest thoroughbred racetrack and sporting venue in the United States, Saratoga Racecourse, and home to Palio. We're an advertising agency. Over the next few weeks, we are going to fill this chalkboard with insightful, thought-provoking topics around branding, marketing, and multi-channel integration within pharma. So sit back and enjoy Palio's Chalk Chat. Hi, I'm Nick McDowell, avid fisherman and senior copywriter for Palio here in Saratoga Springs. Today we'll review the value of social media to your brand. Traditional advertising, even in the online space, has previously been a one-way conduit of information flowing from your brand to a wide audience. On television, in print, even on a website, communications are unidirectional with the hope of reaching an audience with a brand message. If you throw a large net, you're bound to catch some fish. The twist for the 21st century comes from social media. Twitter, Facebook, and other platforms have created a focused audience of interested consumers who have sought out your brand and they opt in to receive your communications. The audience comes to you. So in effect, the fishing net has changed to a fishing pole. These are people who want to know what your brand has to say. So they follow your Twitter feed or like your brand's Facebook page. They also engage with the brand on a very individual level, replying to your communications and hopefully having a positive experience. The chance to directly interact with specific individuals in a public realm, if handled well, can create opportunities to increase your brand's reach. Just as important as this built-in audience is their ability to share your communications with their friends and their followers. There is exponential potential for retweets, sharing, and wall postings, which gets your immediate audience to do the work of spreading your message for you. Essentially, you are borrowing the equity of your audience and using their approval act as the key that unlocks an untapped larger audience who may be interested in what you have to say. The line you've cast creates ripples in the pond, spreading far and wide. It's important to remember, though, that the internet is a pretty fast-moving target, and almost every social media platform is in a perpetual beta state. That means there will never be a final version of the platform, and it will continually evolve over time to set new trends and to answer growing concerns of their own customers. The way you manage your social media presence is sometimes determined by the features of the platform, so make sure you choose a platform that will allow you to do the things that you want. For instance, in the pharma space, the limited character count of Twitter can also limit the messages allowable by FDA regulations. Where can you put the fair balance? As a result, many pharma companies have opted to use Twitter as a corporate identity tool, industry news hub, or unbranded patient advocacy channel. With that in mind, to ensure you are fully compliant with FDA regulations, you can review their guidelines uh, in the links below. And you can also get more insights from Palio on the links below on our blog. Thanks for watching, and feel free to share this chalk chat with any platform you like.